Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and I am a collector and hoarder of makeup and just a general makeup lover. So in order for me to continue to collect and hoard makeup, I promised I would sit down and film content. And so here we are. All right, so happy new year. Um, I know I started Vlogmas and then I didn't finish it. And I, I don't really have a reason behind it besides the fact that I just needed a break and I wanted to spend time with my family. So, but I am here now and I'm doing something a little bit different. So you get a lot of people who are like posting and they're sharing their 2022 favorite beauty products. I'm not gonna do that because I wanna sit down and share like my holy grails when it comes to like base products. So like, just the face. We're not going to be doing like eyeshadow palettes or lippies or or blush. We're going to talk about the base face today. So I have a container full of products right here that I'm ready to go over with you. And these are my holy grails. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. All right. So like I already said, these products are like my favorite products that I have been using God, like some of these products I've been using for quite some time, but these are the products that are my go-tos that I can trust. And I feel like I should share them with you because maybe you haven't tried these products out before. A lot of these products people don't talk about anymore and they are fantastic products that work really well for me. And the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this by brand. So the first brand is Huda Beauty. Now there's quite a few products from Huda Beauty that I absolutely love. And when I sat down, wrote notes for this video, I didn't realize how much I love Huda Beauty products. The first product is a brow pencil. This is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil. Now I get this in the shade eight, and this is gonna be the black shade, darkest shade that the, the brand has. And I use this, I don't use it to fill in my brows, I use it to create the line underneath my brows and the tail so that everything is precise and very like clean cut and angular, which is the style of brow that I enjoy. So, oh crap, this one's like almost out. See, love this product. This has like the smallest like little pencil tip ever. And that is why I love it. It is so precise. And I also really enjoy the shape of the pencil itself. So it's like a diamond shape and I'm pretty sure it was done for just aesthetics, but holding it is so much easier than just a plain like circle. And this does retail for $17, which is cheaper than Benefit. And it does come in eight different shades. But majority of these products I used on my face today as well. Um, this is actually, a, I did not use the foundation today because I am trying out a new foundation. But this second product is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I have loved this foundation for so long. I love this foundation even when it had fragrance in it. That's how long I've been using this product. But this is a $42 foundation. It does come in 39 shades. So there's a wide shade range on this foundation. So I personally use the shade 300N Latte, which is a neutral shade. And man, I can't even tell you how many times I bought this foundation. I love this foundation so much that I know when Huda has her sale at the end of the year, that's when I always pick up a backup because that's when they're like 40% off. But this foundation is a full coverage, buildable, it's long lasting. And when I mean long lasting, if I fell asleep in this, I'm pretty sure I'd wake up the next day with my foundation on my face. Like that's, that's how long it is like stuck to your face. Now it does have a matte finish. I know a lot of people are not into the matte foundations right now, but if you're looking for full coverage, buildable, it's comfortable on the skin. It's not, it doesn't make your skin feel cakey. Then this is a foundation you should definitely try out if you haven't tried it. Like it's fantastic. And the newer version of this foundation is fragrance free. And I only mention that because I know fragrance does irritate a lot of people. So the final, well, this isn't a final item, but the next item is the quick and easy precision liquid eyeliner. I always buy the shade Very Banta, which is the black one. It does also come in brown. This is not a felt tip. I am not a fan of the felt tip liners. This is a bristle tip liner. I feel like with a bristle tip, you get more precision and it really helps create that really pointy wing, which is what I'm a huge fan of. And lately I have been like rocking this double wing thing that I love, love that too. Got it with this. Um, it does retail for $19. 
Um, I always get, if they're on sale, I buy them. If there's a Sephora, like the Sephora sale, get them 20% off, I buy them. I have like three or four of these in my backup drawer because I wear eyeliner almost every single day and this is the eyeliner that I use. Now this is the final product from Huda Beauty and this is actually from Glowish, which is like, I guess a, like another brand from Huda Beauty. Um, this is a new favorite and I've only been using it for a couple months, but I really, really enjoy this. And it is the Blur Jam Smoothing Primer. So this does retail for $33. One of the claims on this primer is that it's silicone free. And I know for some people that's like a benefit. Um, that doesn't really bother me. I saw a lot of people talking about this primer and how like they're, like how amazing their pores look. And that's what got me into buying this. For me, I do find that it blurs my pores, but it also blurs my texture, which I love that because I have a lot of texture. I have acne and I have very large pores. And it probably doesn't help that I'm one of those people that just picks their face. It's a habit that I'm trying to break this year. I don't believe in New Year's resolutions, but it's something that I wanna work on for myself because picking my face is just making my face worse. And I really need to stop doing it. The claims on here are true. So it's, it's blurring the pores, blurring the texture, hydrating, and it's mattifying. So if I am doing something where I'm not wearing makeup, but I am running out of the house, I apply this just on my face, like just wear this, because it does give you that like filtered, no filtered pore look where, yeah, you can see the pores, but they're, they're blurred. And I really enjoy that this product does it. The next brand I wanna talk about is Milk Makeup. And all three of these products are kind of from the same line from Milk, and I just, they just work for me, and I just find them to be just absolutely fantastic products. So the first one is basically a cult favorite, and it is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, you can see that mine is almost empty. Uh, this does retail for $36 if you get the full size, and this is the full size. And then they also have a jumbo size, which I already purchased ready to go when this one's empty. And that does retail for $65. It is a gripping and hydrating primer. So I have combination skin. So right now with it being winter, my skin is more dry, but I do get oily like around like my nose um, and kind of like basically where my hair lies as well. And I guess it's just, you know, when you have long hair and it's in your face, it's gonna happen. But even with those parts of my face getting oily, I still like something hydrating because you can be oily and still be dry. So I find that it does hydrate my skin. I mean, you know, this product is like so well known in the beauty space. Like, how do you not know about this product? But it just really creates like this tacky texture for your, your base to go on and it, it makes your makeup last. And that is why I love it because I live in Houston and Houston, it gets humid. It can be cold outside and humid, okay? Summertime, hot as balls, humid. And you know what? This keeps my makeup in place all day. The next product is the Hydro Grip Eyeshadow and Concealer Primer. Now I'm gonna tell you, don't use this as an eyeshadow primer. It's a load of shit for that. Like I don't find that it works for me. I have very oily eyelids and it doesn't seem to work. But for under the eyes, it hydrates under the eyes, but then it also keeps your concealer in place. My concealer does not crease with this product, but it also like makes my concealer just look so much better. Like I have used my concealer without this under my eyes and with it under my eyes, and you can see a large difference. I'm starting to regret not filming myself using these products so you can personally see the difference that a under eye primer makes. Now this does retail for $25 and it's worth $25. The last milk makeup product, and I'm sure you've guessed it. It is the, the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This also works really great for prepping your makeup. Like I also like to spray it in between the layers. So I'll do my foundation and then I'll, and then I'll like powder my face and then I'll spray it, set that then add my bronzer and blush and like highlighter and then set it again with this spray. It keeps your makeup locked in place. Like this is another must have if you live in a humid or hot area, but this retails for $36.
Speaking of priming the face, this next product is from Gerard Cosmetics, and I'm sure you've seen me use this. If this is not your first time watching a video from me, you've seen me use this for eyes. And this is the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. This does come in four different shades. I use the fair one, which is almost empty. I recently just picked some up during the sale. These were $10 when they were on sale. I don't know if they're still on sale, but they retail for $22. I like to use this product to carve out the brows and then also just to prime my eyes. And then when I'm cutting the crease or I'm trying to do something really fancy on my lids, I like to use the white shade. So just with a nice little detailing brush, use the white one because the white one does make the colors pop and just more vibrant. I have two products from Dior. And the first one is the Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. Now, I do believe this product did come out in 2022. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I love this concealer. It is buildable, it is lightweight, and the applicator is just great because it's a brush. Now, I don't use this brush to blend it out. I use a, like a, I use a densely packed brush to like blend in my concealer, but just applying it with that brush, it just, I don't know, I like it. Now I use the shade 2N and that is to just like brighten my inner corner. Um, I usually use a darker shade for like this part of my eyes and then also to spot conceal. Fortunately, I don't have one because I am out, but I usually use, this, use the shade 3N. Now this does retail for $29 and it does come in 22 shades. The next product from Dior is the Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is a really popular foundation. My favorite thing to do with this foundation is actually mix it with the Huda one. So the Huda one is a little bit thicker. This kind of thins it up and then it just has like this really nice, like they're both great separately, but they're fantastic together. I use the shades 3N and 4N. So I do spray tan regularly. And when I spray tan, I am a 4N. When I am not tan, I am a 3N. And in between tans, I mix 3N and 4N together. So this does have a natural finish. It is very, very buildable. Like it goes on sheer, but you can build it up really easily without it getting cakey at all. And it is long wearing. So this product is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I have... I switch face powders often. Like I have a hard time finding a face powder that I like and then like I stick to. I don't know why, but the one that I got the most use out of in the past year and I, I have it on my face today, it is the Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. There, you get a lot of product in here, like a crap ton. Um, this does retail for $38. It comes in five shades and it does have like a matte finish. It does help when I get oily because I do just kind of like touch up with it in my oily spots. Um, and there's like no flashback and it's smoothing. So right now, this is my favorite loose setting powder. And I'm pretty sure I got it in BoxyCharm. So it was like the only time BoxyCharm did anything right because I still use it. And I did cancel that subscription because I, I mean, I canceled a subscription and chose to get BarkBox for my dogs. So this product is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It is the Brightening Under Eye Loose Powder in the shade Brightening Pink. Now, I've been using this to brighten my under eyes just in my inner corner since this product came out. Now, I'm gonna continue to use this product, but right now I'm not a big fan of Jaclyn Cosmetics or Jaclyn Hill. So I'm only saying this because of like, I mean, if you're on Twitter, you, you saw that shit. I saw that shit and I was like, you yeah, know. But until I find a product that is suitable to replace it, I will continue to use it because I did spend my money on it. And um, this does retail for $29. There is several different shades um, of this product. Unfortunately, I did not write that down because when I added it to my favorites, I'm not really in the caring mood to give out the details, but I also don't wanna lie to you about what I've been using. Um, it brightens, blurs, and smooths. It does its job. So if anyone has a recommendation for a brightening under eye powder, and I, I just use it in my inner corner because I just get, have dark circles, and, like my eyes are dark just in this area and that's what I'm trying to cover up with the powder and the concealer. Um, leave it in the comments below. Like I'd love a recommendation for a great under eye powder. 
Now this is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is also a 2022 launch and I have used it ever since I got it. And this is the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. It's a cream bronzer that does go on cream and it has like that cream to powder formula finish thing going on for it. It is huge. Okay, I've had this since the summer, since it launched. I think it launched in May. And I use it every time I do my makeup and I still haven't like made, like I haven't hit pan. It's a great product. It does come in four different shades. It is pricey, it is $56. I, I really believe it's worth $56. When I say it blends beautifully, you can blend it. Like if you powder your face and you're like, fuck, I got cream bronzer. Don't worry, it blends great on top of powder. It blends great under powder and it's buildable. So when you, you get to build up the color, which is the type of bronzer that I prefer. And it does have like this radiant skin like finish, which is another like bonus to it because that's, that's part of the reason I like this one so much is just the way that it applies and it does have that radiant finish. So this is the last product and it is from YSL. I'm not even gonna try to say it because YSL is so much easier to say when you just say the letters. But this is the Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara. Um, people were talking shit about this mascara and I was like, really? Like, I love this mascara. It does retail for $29. I find that it's, it's advertises vo volume, I can't even say it. It's advertises volumizing. I also find that it lengthens my eyelashes. Now I have really short, stubby, natural eyelashes. Probably from the overuse of wearing falsies. I've been wearing false lashes since I was in high school. That was 10 years ago and then some. So I've probably damaged my lashes by just kind of ripping the false ones off. But this mascara like separates your lashes just so perfectly. And then when you build it up, it doesn't get cakey and you don't get those like spider web lashes because nobody wants that. So I do actually use this one on my top and bottom lashes and I find that it works really nicely on the bottom as well. It's, it's a mascara that does its job and I will keep repurchasing this, repurchasing this until I find something that does a better job, which I doubt it. All right, so that is my base face favorites. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I will be doing a video similar to this just for the eyes. So I'll be sharing like my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'll be sharing my favorite like eyeliner products or just like single shadows or single eye glitters, like that type of video. So stay tuned for that. But thank y'all for watching. Bye y'all.